Hello, guys. Today, I'm finally taking a look at Smokescreen. This is the sixth time I have tried to review him. Every time either the camera falls and the video goes out, or it just says it can't hold anymore. So, uh, I pray this works. So, nonetheless, here is smoke screen. And thanks for cooperating with me, guys. Sorry for the noise outside. My basement's have I'm not in my basement today. Let's go on to the good points about the story. And also, guys, my camera's not focusing that well. Let me go. Are you focusing now? Oh, so now he's only... That's... Weird. Let me go turn the lights on. Maybe that'll help a little. In terms of focusing with the camera. So you see that. He's really nice. I like him. I really do. This is probably... One of my favorite toys right now. I was originally planning on getting the Masterpiece figure, but they're so expensive, and right now, in all honesty, I'm fine with this guy. I really am. He does it for me. Now, uh, here in Cincinnati, where I live, we're having the Reds opening day parade, so that's huge. And here in Cincinnati, that's like... <sighs> I don't know how to explain it. It's like this big thing, so everybody's playing baseball today. They're watching the Reds play. And uh, I'm excited too, I really like Joey Votto. But back to the review. Smoke Screen is the hot rod of the show. I wish he was the trickster, but still, he does trick people still. April Fools. And I guess that worked out perfectly, since he's a trickster in April Fools. I probably might even do a special in a minute. See, everybody's talking, and everybody's watching the Reds. So I'm sorry, guys. Well, the Reds isn't on right now, but the local channel has, like, this pre-parade thing, and it's like, holy cow! Let's get on to the review. This is probably the worst concept of armor I have seen <sighs> since Energon. Sorry for the noise, guys. This is pretty bad. I mean, it would be fine if it covered the entire body, like if it covered the chest and the legs and the arms a little. It works pretty Cool low in vehicle mode, so let's just get rid of this. Stupid thing. <sighs> or, you know, a better idea? Smoke screen, stand up. Is there arthritis? Is checking it. It's okay, smoke screen. You're the second one I got. I'll use this for the transformation. Um, yeah. So, uh, Posability, first time I've done it. Head does a 360, but I'm, but you do have to be kind of careful with the head because the light piping here doesn't stay in all that well. I don't think many reviewers have done it. My other smoke screen, the one in the vehicle mode right now, its head is cracked in one area because of the light piping. So yeah, minor problem. So, uh, hands have the typical movement. They also go up and down because of the ratchet joint here. Swivel at the elbow and up and down also on a really tight ratchet. Just The other one has a blue stretch. Paint apps for this guy. I like the blue more than the red. Just, it's G1. I wish there was some blue here. 
but still, also get on painted tables. So, make sure you get, I guess, some code. This can go up and down to the due to the transformation. He has a swivel at the waist, which very nice. Well, let's do the transformation, but still, it's really nice. So, yeah, I'm not the best at, at uh, poses. So, yeah. For some comparison, since this will be real fast. Next is Wave Mate Ripclaw, who is an extraordinary figure. Next to Predating. And next to his wave mate Starscream. Who's even smaller than him. And his role model Optimus, who is not even getting on the camera. So yeah, let's start the transformation. From vehicle mode back. Well, you know what? Let's just. Okay, we'll start here. First, you want to rotate up the swivel and then untap the leg armor. Just bring it down, push in the foot, do the same over here. And then you have to tap these bits in. Make sure these are lined up also. So, uh, there you go. Get tap in there. Trust me, it's more difficult than it looks. Well, it's easier than it looks. It's, I, have, I have to uh, move my arms and I have stuff all around me. Dear God. Come back here. Just untap the doors. Come to the front, remove the chest piece, set the head in very carefully. And then bring in this stuff here. Or no, you have to remove the wheels on top of them. And then come back here, open the windows up. Make sure the feet slide in with this. Take the doors and uh, they'll tab in. Right here, see the tab there? They'll just tap into the doors. Rotate the wheel around. Take this, take the chevel and just move it up. And come to the scratch joint, bring this, then bring the arm down. Like so, come to the head here. Just move the head and then bring the front car mode in like so. Trust me, guys, this is easier than a lot of I just have to be careful so the camera doesn't go down. I'm sorry, my light's not very well. I'll turn on this lamp. Um, that's... I'll set that. Yeah, I'll do it. Sure. Nothing bad happened. Take this and then just right here, you tab this clear bit. In there, make sure all the parts are in. Just set this in, and then make sure the, it's in all the way that you want it to be in. Come up and then tab in the doors. And then put the doors here. In so that it'll hold it up. Yeah, you get the idea. And now you have some more screen. And it's dual mode. Now that's better. By far, this is a really cool vehicle mode. But it does lack in paints. And if I can quote from EB4I, that's my 
friend. This is where the vehicle is hurt the most, or that. Just like uh, the Transformers Prime, but the Deluxe Class R.I.D. Rumble. There's no paint apps back here. And that's sad. I mean, they could have had a license plate here. Could have had paint apps here. They could have had translucence here and then have gray here. But still, nonetheless, a really cool figure. And finally, so that I can get good use out of it, I'll use the armor. Now where's the armor? I had the armor when I didn't. Oh, I found it. When I didn't need it. But I lost it. And I needed it the most. Here he is with this armor. I like it. I still wish that the armor went back here. And, but still, he does look pretty cool. Not the best, but still really nice. And, um, personally, first of all, my light's going to be really, real bad. You can see there's a huge difference. So, yeah, in all honesty, I, I would pick this guy up. If you haven't yet, he's available at Walmarts and Toys R Us's, places like that. And I'd, re and I'd recommend him. His transformation is a little hard, but it's not as difficult as it is here on screen. And so, uh, I'd recommend picking him up. If I had to give him a score, he'd probably get... Probably a 9.0. He's a really nice mold. I think there are just a few little paint apps, but for me, 